Welcome back to SnowRunner Season 12, Public Energy, Episode Number 5. With me, Mr. Sealy P. We are back and we're on the reactive zone as you can see I've got the weapon the fem is out I've got two concrete slabs you just saw me collect those um, I didn't speak on that bit um, we are I'll show you let's just stop there I need to conserve as much energy as possible I just realized I'm still on high um, so on here I came out of the garage and we went to the warehouse here that was where there were some concrete slabs um, we can probably produce some elsewhere, but the warehouse had them. So we've got the concrete stabs, and we went from there, followed this all up here, out to the main road, and then we we're here, about to go into Pine Line. Today is going to be a very good day. You're welcome. Um, we're going to go, hopefully, and get the ferry going. We're going to deliver these to the east docks on Pine Line Bay. And then what I'm hoping to do as well in this one, if I go to Geodetic Guidance, and we go to vice-like grip. I said I'd have a look and see if I could find them. I've got to deliver metal beams, and they're out there anyway. I can go out to the production and get those made. Um, but the next part of that is delivering the MTB 8106 rock grinder. The reward for that is once we've done all that, we get that. That's what I'm going to be aiming for today. So on to Pine Line. A few jobs to do over on there. I will get onto Flatland. Now, I know this is going to be really obvious. I know people will say, well, yeah, or you know, slightly kind of, yeah. Um, I've always avoided the high range box only because it's it slows down so you can go along at normal speed I use the low range box all the muddy stuff that kind of stuff but I've always found the high range box it just slows it down a little bit especially if you're doing long journeys however if you are in a situation where you want you are trying to conserve as much fuel as possible that high range box is absolutely perfect for it stop there and we shall travel um, what I'm interested to see now is coming out the other side of here onto Pine Line, we've got all that swamp to get through. Now, so far, the FEM has been, I mean, it's just gone through everything. I haven't had a problem at all. What time is it? Evening. Mm, we'll see how dark it gets. I might skip ahead. Um, so what we'll do, the light's on, there we go. Get into high. And that on main roads, on normal roads, the fuel um, drops dramatically. You don't need to worry too much. Through the muddy stuff, it's not as great. It still, it kept going. I, I didn't really have to go into low range box much across reactive zones. So I'm curious to see how we're going to fare. Um, fuel economy wise, I was running low-ish. I have got a roof rack on and I used the fuel that was in that. I'll keep it in high. We'll see how we go. If I need to switch down, I'll switch down. I'm going to go straight through this bit because it sits very high as well. I'm not having any problem at all with the uh, depth of water. Hey, look, it's just the, the fuel's going up a little bit. It's, it's requiring more. I should put that way. No, careful. But it's not. Considering everything else I've used, and this is, yeah, obviously, this is part of this DLC. It's a DLC vehicle. Oh, no. I knew I'd get myself in trouble. Do that, man. I went off the track. 
Um, it's just, it's proving to be just brilliant. No problem at all. It's certainly not getting stuck like the others were. I'm going to get onto a bit more solid ground for a moment. I'm going to skip ahead. It's early morning. I'm not going to do the whole journey across because once you get past a lot of the journey from here out towards the uh, the town, you've seen me do. But it's just not, it doesn't seem to be stopping. Do that, turn the engine off. That, that and that. Come back out. There we go. I'll tell you what I have had though. It's done it, it did it again. The engine sound went. So I just, yeah, just save it, come out, I'll say save it, but come out of the game, come back in again, and it was fine. But it's, um, it's really not having a problem at all. Considering I've got two things of concrete slabs on here as well. I know I always do that, and I curse it, and then I get stuck, but it doesn't seem bothered. So I'm glad I found it. And that's why the next job I want to do, I want to get the MTB8106. Because um, the fact it says rock grinder, I'm just curious to see. I haven't even seen a picture of it anywhere. I know when all the stuff was coming out for season 12 being released, there was information. So what I'll do is now, I'm going to put it into high. Off we go. Brilliant. I'm going to do, just drop it into there. I'm just going to nip in the in the gut walk here, nip in the gates, grab a vehicle out, just like I say, top off the tanks. That's not going to be anything big, just enough. And I shall carry on. And what I'll do is, I'll, once I've done the, um, no, once I've done the ferry, I'm just curious to see what that will do. Um, we'll whiz out and get the metal beams. So from here, so we're now on the map here, at the garage, we know, coming out here, going to go around there, follow it round, and this is where we're heading to. Is that the east one? Oh, no, it's... Oh, I'm glad I checked. I wasn't sure which one it was going to be, and you could put money on it being this one, couldn't you? Which means I've got to go back. I mean, I could probably go up over the top. Got to be a bit careful through that little bit. I need to sort this out this little bridge here there's a few bits of rubble and things I need to whiz out and get fixed at some point but I can go out through there and over the top um, because what will happen is once that's done I think we can then just jump across from there to there which will make life a little bit easier um, yeah so I'm thinking then there we go so I just need a little bit of fuel so if I go to truck storage uh, I could probably do it off the back of that but I have got... Oh, that's always got a ton in it, hasn't it? Source is the Ford. Target is the Femme. We're fully fueled. Oh, I did that the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go with source target. Then that. There we go. Right, so we've filled up on both. This can go back. Oh, I've done it again. Why? That's better. I'm not sure how this is going to do going up over the top. I could go around, and to be fair, I could take the swamp route because this doesn't seem to be having any problems at all. It's a little bit further. Oh, that's weird. That's the first time I've encountered a problem like that. I'm 
might do, you know. Might be a little bit safer than going up over the top. What's up there? My steering's gone. That wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> so there is me. So I don't. I can't believe I just went across two maps, had no problems at all, and then that happened. Why? Recovery. Okay, after that, <laughs> mild, we call it a mild recovery? No, it was one of the bigger cranes I've used. 
Um, we're going to go back through across the Swamp Way. Now, I'm going to... I don't understand this, right? As I said, I've come across two maps and not had a problem. Um, coming back this way through the Swamp, I've had more problems and more instances of the thing nearly rolling over than I did going the other way. When I came from Reactive Zone across to the garage, it didn't miss a beat. I was in high range, it ploughed through the stuff, didn't even bother, wasn't bothered at all. Coming back the other way, I've had a couple of times it's almost got bogged down. I've had a couple of times where it's, it's done that thing where it's like jackknifes. It's like it hits something and the cab turns and I can't turn it back the other way. And a couple of times where the whole thing's felt like it's going to roll over. I don't get it. It's very odd. But anyway, I'm mean, still going, no problem at all. We should be right for fuel to get, I say we should be. I'm trying to think, if I should, have I shown coming through this way before? I don't know if I have. I've been through this way a couple of times, but I haven't actually sort of shown it, so... It's a little bit trickier, but this... Yeah, I don't know. It seems to be doing better now. It's obviously just that one section. I'm going to say that and then it'll roll over again. But the good thing with this as well, once I get this done, if the ferry thing works as it's supposed to, um, I'll be able to get the ferry straight across I'll be able to refuel at the uh, fuel station and then we can whiz out and get the metal beams and we can get on with the next job. I wasn't anticipating having to crane my uh, my vehicle and the slabs back on, but hey, it's all part and parcel of the fun of games. I'm going to go I'm going to go Just in the shade of the uh, hillside, aren't we? Be careful coming up over the top of the rocks. I'm using the stuff from the maps as well, that's cool. There we go. Out into the light. Don't tip over. Onto the road. Maybe there. I just skip ahead again. We're really chewing through the days. Into Eastfield we go. Particular turn that we need, I don't think there is. So. See what happens, shall we? Okay. I thought the ferry might move or something. So we should be able to now. Go, is that still saying locked?
Why is it so locked? I was supposed to have unlocked it, I thought. Oh, I've got to go all the way back round again. Really? Westbound ferry. Go to the Westfield dock. Hey? <sighs> Cargo container for... Where do I get those from? I've just got to go there. Really? So I've got to drive there first, then I can deliver cargo containers. Oh, what joy. What joy. You know what I'm going to do? Since here I've got to drive away around, I'm going to go across the bridge. I'm going to go out to the observatory. I'm going to try and pick up that upgrade. I don't know whether or not to take this, whether to take the FEM, because it's going to need um, four cargo containers. Mind you, are they small or large? I can never remember. Um, I might need that, actually. I've got enough fuel. Oh, has it done it again? About four times now. Hello, <laughs> what? Cool. Just a quick stop off at the gas station to top up. I did go across the observatory to the island. Um, that upgrade is going to require um, something more off-roady. I went across, uh, where are we? I went across around here, down to the beach, and I thought I'd just go around the beach. The water was a bit deep there, and there was also a pier here. Um, if you go around the island, there's not really an easy way down to it, unless you've got something kind of more off-roady than I was driving, so... I haven't got that one yet. We're going to head down to Westfield Dock. I'm going to be really annoyed if we get to Westfield Dock because it just says go here. So the next part is going to send me to another map or back over to the other side or something. It's going to be something really daft, isn't it? Ah, oh, right. So where are they? Oh, they're right there. Deliver to the drop-off area, cargo container. Oh, okay. Where's the drop-off area? <laughs> so I've just got to go across the bridge and take it there. Does it say access to gateway? It doesn't say crane is recommended, does it, on that? Because whilst I haven't got to go far, I don't have a crane. Oh, oh. it's not going to just let me pack them, is it? I'm not to... Which means it's going to get something else, unless of course it lets me back into there and just pack. I don't think it's going to let me just pack them, is it? That would be that would be too straightforward. These are big, aren't they? Oh, it's going to be a couple of runs, isn't it? I'm only going to get one, maybe two on per run. Yeah, I need a crane. Okay, different vehicle then. Western Twin Star. I've got a crane on my one of those. Right, back in a bit. I'll go and get one of those. <laughs>
Right, on the back I've got the last two. So you saw me pick up the first two from the ferry terminal. I took those and delivered them. I've picked up the second two, and now you're going to see me delivering them. So, unless there's any other hoops to jump through, I'm assuming the ferry will become available. I don't know, potentially. I'm not sure time-wise how I'm looking as well, so I might have to, um, might have to have a, I might have to have a quick check because I do want to get on to collecting the MTB, but there's a few things that got to be done. I might go and get the metal beams off camera. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud of what I might do or could do. So. The gateway is now accessible. Nice. Right. So, what I want to do... I don't know what to do with this trailer because I... Did I, I didn't explain, didn't I, where the trailer came from? Um, I had the option. Um, I could have left the um, the fem. Uh, I could have left the fem here when I realised I had to then do something else. That was an option, and then come out with a crane. So I thought, you know what? I'll go back. I'll get one with a crane. The problem I've got is that the western star twin steer the base game one doesn't have a crane option the modded one does that's why i was thinking oh yeah i'll get the west oh yeah i'll get that perfect and then i suddenly thought oh yeah we dropped that trailer off if you remember way back we dropped the trailer off over here so i had the option of going all the way back around from the garage all the way around to the trailer store here because the ferry's not running yet to get a trailer to come back or go out through the marshy bog bit, pick it up, and come back with it. So I chose to do that. That's where the trailer came from. So this is a sort of... Oh. This is a sort of bonus trailer. I don't... I could probably just leave it out here. I don't need it anytime soon. And if I do need it, I can always come and collect it, can't I? I guess. I'm still surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm still surprised how much difference it makes not having the trailer point with, at the garage. It, it's made a... Mind the curb. It's made a real big difference to what I'm doing. So, let's do that. Has it gone again? No. I want to go... I just want to give the ferry a go. I don't think there'll be an animation or anything, not that I'm aware of. I think it would just be like it does when you go between maps. There will just be a, a screen. I, I, again, I don't know. I could be completely wrong. Maybe there is an animation. That's what I'm here to find out. As Frank Sinatra said, it was a very good year. Let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah, I don't think... What? That's outrageous. And that's it. There's not even animation. It doesn't show the ferry going. That just cost me 750. Well, I'll be. That is. It's outrageous. So I guess now then, we need to go to there so metal beams uh re oh no landslide site is there which is where in relation to other stuff all oh, right there's the garage landslides so hang on a minute oh is this going to be one of those ones i can't just go and get metal beams they have to be metal beams from flatland to the office parking lot, the MTB, where's that? Oh, that's up there. And I would imagine as well, delivered to the workshop, which is there, the prototype unit, which is also there. So the prototype unit's on the vehicle. So I can probably tow the two together and I'll get the MTB. But I've got to, get, got to go and get the metal beams first. Frustrating thing with that is, let's activate it. Um... I 
don't just go and get metal. Oh, I don't know. Do I just try and get a set of metal beams and bring them back, or is it going to be that it has to be those specific? It's probably going to be those specific ones, isn't it? Can't win either way around. Um, I can get a trailer for this, or... It ticks over quiet. Or go back and get a completely different vehicle. I might go back and get a different vehicle, actually. Although I'm already over here towards Flatland, aren't I? It would make sense just to grab a trailer for the sake of it. I've got the crane on here already, so that would make sense. I'm going to do that. Right. I still need to open up Flatland as well, though, don't I, to be fair? Uh, trailer store. I don't need anything big, though, do I? Just, um... I could go with something even smaller if I've got it available. What's that one? It's not too bad, is it? Just hope I can get a, just a little... Something like that, maybe. I could put metal beams in that, couldn't I? Just drag that behind. Only one. That'll do. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Right. Well, only a ding dang do will do. Hmm. Like I said, I'm going to have to go and check my editing time because I'm not sure how far through I am. I might have to cut some other chunks out, I don't know. I'm desperate to get this MTV. This is probably this. Probably quicker and easier and more efficient ways, and it would have been quicker to go and get another vehicle or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. It's just as soon as I'm over here, if I go back and get another vehicle, I've got to drive all the way back across the map. It's going to charge me again, isn't it? Outrageous prices. Unbelievable. I can't believe it charged me. Okay, well. So be it. Still got my trailer. That's good. Do that. Lights on. Let's get to Flatland. And see. Like I say, if it's somewhere quite close, no problem. If it appears to be a little bit more, I might show it. I don't know. Still almost tempted just to go on the map here and go and get some, but I've been caught out like that before, haven't I? So I bring something back, having gone wherever to get it, and then find it has to be something specific. No, you know what? No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try first. So I guess this is where we find out. I went and got the metal beams from the factory rather than going to Flatland. <laughs> if this doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'm assuming this will clear the blockage. And hopefully it'll clear the blockage. It's letting me. Awesome. Right, that's that stage. Now I've got to do the office parking lot, the MTB 8106, and I will get that. But it also wants that the... Um, Oh, I should have put a back on this, shouldn't I? Thinking about it, if I went down to the garage and put a back on this, with the crane, I could have lifted the little trailer onto the back of it and then towed the vehicle. I suppose I could still do that. I could go down and get it, couldn't I? I'm going to have to get it out of there first. Uh, I don't think I can switch to it, can I? No. Um, is that a thing? Could I do that? I don't try and put it in the back of that trailer. This man makes it too long then it's, it gets a bit out of hand. Um, because I don't need this trailer now. Again, another reason why ha not having the trailer parked by the garage. I could drive back to the garage and normally you can just return the trailers. I'm going to end up with loads of trailers scattered around the map, which I've paid for. It's 
So I guess what I can do is try, where am I? We're right above the garage, but there's no direct route back, is there? So I'm going to have to go, I don't want to go down to the swamp, do I? Back the way I came to the main road, back to the garage, drop off that trailer, put a back on it, and if I can lift that prototype unit onto the back and then tow the vehicle, I'm going to do that. That's the plan. Um, it says. Is there anywhere to turn around? I don't want to try and drive past that trailer and knock the trailer off the, off the side. That would not be good. Um, I could technically just leave this trailer, <laughs> just abandon it and tow with what I've got. I need to put the crane away, don't I? And then winch it, yeah, I'll probably do that. I know I'm being indecisive, I just don't want to leave stuff scattered around the place. And I'll say it like I always do, I'll come back for it later. And I know I won't, it will stay there forever. I could come out quite easy with the scout vehicle and get it. Can I get past that if I just dump it there in the bushes? Possibly. I mean, it can fuel wise, not great. Assuming that's got fuel in it, otherwise I'm going to have to lug it. So I suppose the other thing we can do is do that, that, that. Refuel. Prototype unit's got fuel in it. And target is that. Oh no, it's full. Both of them are. Okay, that's alright. So why can't I switch over to it? No. I think I might have to go up and through the sludge, I think. Let's turn this round. You watch me tip this whole thing on its side. Will go well. It looks like a Mercedes G Wagon a little bit. Like a mini version. A mini G Wagon. Can I get this? Maybe. Right. Attach winch to the back, to that. It's not attached. Oh, you absolute. It looked like it was attached. I have to go with my original plan as well. out first. That does sound quite throaty, doesn't it? I'm looking forward to getting that back and doing it up. Just want to try and avoid doing multiple trips if I can get it all in one go. I'm going to have to go back anyway. I think I'm on plan D, E, F, G maybe? What, two scouts didn't work, wouldn't hook up to the prototype unit because I need to hook up to it because I can't winch to one and then use that to winch to something else. It, that's, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do, hopefully, is we'll do that. We'll go down to control evacuator. Uh, we should do... Uh, where, which was it? 
That one. Uh, then that one to go down. Hopefully I'm not too close to it and just smash the bonnet in. Bring it back up a little bit. Level? Kind of. Now hopefully attach winch from there to there. Push this up onto the back. Is that gonna winch at an angle? I thought it would winch into the middle. Oh we might be right. Oh, might have damaged it. Okay, uh release the winch. Can I pack this? Pack trucks and trailers, yes. I wonder. Pack that, that's locked in place. I wouldn't... Mm, go for hanging too much. I was wondering whether or not... If I go back to that, that and then... If I had just left that in that position, I wonder if I could put it onto it whether it would pack onto that or whether I'm just better off just towing it I think yeah let's put that up and then we want to go uh, again that back down and come off of there then nope that no, I don't know which connect. No, no, no. Hmm. Need that. Hope this whole thing doesn't fall over. And I'm using fuel, but to be fair, both of those have got fuel, which I could <laughs> I could borrow from if I wanted to. So what I could do now, if this won't actually hook to the prototype unit, which it might not do, I'm not given the option. If I attach winch from the back. I'm stupid if it doesn't work. There we go. Fix that up to there. As close as I can get it. And technically... Will that work? <laughs> yes, it will. Okay. Let's try this, shall we? Watch me get halfway there and run out of fuel. This first bit is uh, you won't uh, you haven't seen me do this bit yet so i'll do this bit uh the other bits is just back past the swampy bit you've seen me do a few times then to the town and then to that little garage and then we drop it all off there and then we'll get this the mtb so i'll have a fiddle around see what we can do with it so maybe the start of the next episode we can have a bit of a tongue oh i know what i can do start the next episode if we do fast land uh, uh fast land flat land we can open up the map us using that that's a good call I'll do that. If I ever get this back, of course. This is getting dark again. It's taking about two days just to sort this out. I came up here with the F750. That wouldn't hook up to the prototype unit. I then thought I'd use the Apache. That wouldn't hook up to it. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'll go with my original plan. I was just going to use a flatbed, but then suddenly remembered this had the ramp and add the thing for attaching cargo, so this Paystar has proven to be a very useful bit of kit. I'm liking it a lot. There's a horrible bit in a minute where the road slants away, so I've got to turn into the ditch. So I don't lose all the cargo for it, I think. Is this down here? through this stuff quite well. I'll just stick it in that and that.
I went to the road already. I must have. I must have just gone past the bit that I was thinking about. Hmm, fair enough. Couldn't have been that bad then if I went past it without even realising. Okay, take that off, that off. So, stop there a second. So from here, like I said, we're just going to follow the road along there, back through the swampy bits, and we've got to take it... What's the point? Where are we taking this to? Office parking lot. Have I not got this? Okay, so I've got to do one then the other. So I've got to go across the ferry, which I will do. I mean, I could go... No, we'll go that way. Cross at the ferry and take that there. I thought the, the parking lot was in the same place. And then the prototype unit's got to be delivered here, but one's got to be done after the other, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. Usual palaver. Let's uh, do that, that. Bang, bang. Um, brilliant winches turned off. I'm going to run out of fuel. It doesn't say I've got to deliver them full. We are here in the town. This is the workshop. I have dropped off the prototypes unit just there because this is where it's got to go to. We need to cross the ferry to drop this off, and if we get it... Oh, I might have to... Oh, we'll see. We'll do this first. We might have to come back across with it. If it allows me to. More money. Go on, then. Knock over tables and chairs outside the cafe. That wouldn't go down too well, would it? Well, as is always the case when you're playing this, first laid uh, the, the, the plans I first laid out. No. All the things you don't anticipate happening, happened. Stage complete. Cool. So I can go back over with this, because it's still on the back. Uh, I can get to it that way, can I? Someone's lights and wall. Fence, doesn't matter. I've said before, it's amazing how many different YouTubers I uh, have watched and used to watch playing this that don't pay the blindest bit of notice to fences, anything, until they just crash through everything. I've always been a bit more... <laughs> I don't worry about knocking road signs over. It's not... You know, I suppose that comes from farming simulator. I try to avoid it if possible.
Right, we are going to get there. Travel, yes. Skip scene. Go. How far in do I need to get with this? I just need to get my nose in. Don't, don't, don't do I? Mm, so how we looking? Might have enough for a minute. Just squeeze through the gap. Oh. Didn't I need that engine, did I? No. Come on. Boom. And the rewards. Except... Oh, does that prototype unit just stay there then? I've found that a lot lately. Are these things, didn't they always used to just disappear? There's that now available as well. So... That's where we've got to. I wonder then. Let's do that. That. Uh... Should be able to come to this now, shouldn't I? So, come off of there, unpack, change truck. It has fuel in it. Pretty cool. It's a bit stubbier, isn't it, than the Mercedes G Wagon? It's got that look to it. And that is where I'm going to leave it. I'll take this back. I'm going to do a bit of work on it. And what I'll do next episode, we'll use this and we'll go out um, onto Flatland and unlock some stuff. Because I'm hoping, with a bit of tuning up and some work on this, it could be quite a capable machine, couldn't it, really? This engine gone. Yep. It has. That's just a typical way to, to end, isn't it? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.